Eric Fabracci. I'm going over the new tone bone. The new tone bone has two inputs with separate EQs. You also have a 10 mega ohm with a 10 dB switch PZM uh, for piezo pickups. Two separate volumes. You can also blend everything together. If you have two bases like a Rickenbacker, you can have each pick up in a different channel with different EQ. So uh, other than having two bases, what would be the, the two, how would the two volumes help you out? Oh, um, well, for two bases to set two different volumes, right, but also right. with one base like a Rickenbacker, yeah. you know, sometimes the, the bridge pickup isn't as loud as the front pickup, so you can balance it out. You know, a lot of bases have like a piezo and a magnetic, gotcha. and, and sometimes the piezos aren't as loud, so you can really balance everything out. And when you add EQ, of course, that's going to change the volume. Right. So you can balance that out. What's really, really nice about it, I mean, you have your low cut functions, which is great for upright, but what I like is um, in this channel, you have three different EQs. This is just flat right now. And then you have like more of a, more of like a high-end kind of clanky one. And this is kind of a smoke, like a Motown-ish kind of vibe there. The effects loop is the beauty of this thing because when you hit the effects loop, you can blend in things. So what you do is you're getting your direct sound all the time and then you're blending your effects. It's called parallel. You know, just like instead of series. So you can have parallel compression, you have parallel whatever. Today we're gonna to do parallel overdrive and wah. With any kind of overdrive, you can't play chord. You can't play a C major seven nine or any, you know, you can't play any kind of chords like that. You kind of, you get lost, right. everything gets lost. So with, with an effects loop, you're in, you're in series. So if I turn this on now, so you have overdrive going on. still hear the transient really well. You don't lose that. Even if I use wah. You still hear all the, the transient. You're not losing your bass. So you're blending in your effects instead of going in series through them and destroying your bass tone. So even if you have an overdrive pedal, a cheap overdrive pedal that's for a guitar, where usually you hit it and you lose all your low end, well that's perfect for this because you can just blend it in. What are the features new on this? The that effects loop. One, yeah. Effects loop, yeah, that's the a big thing. effects loop is the newest thing on that. Yeah, definitely. And can you show me the other side of it? Sure. Over here you have, um, there's your, PZB, which is basically your piezo, when you hit that switch in there, you get 10 dB of gain, and it also makes the impedance up to 10 mega ohms. Okay. Perfect for piezo pickups. So if you're playing upright, or if you have a piezo pickup in your electric bass, same thing. The blend knob, if you hit the blend switch in there, then both channels can be on at the same time. That's good for one bass, obviously. Right now we have it like one or the other, so I have two different EQ curves. Okay. So here I have two completely different sounds, and then on top of it I have the effects loop. And the effects loop can send to the, the DI. You can, over here you have a, a boost switch or mute in that switch. So right now I have it to mute, but you could also have it for boost if you want to boost your solos. And what's the IO on the back? This, little, this is kind of interesting. I, to me, it's, this is paramount. You have to have a phase switch because sometimes you're out of phase with the PA. Okay. So by hitting that, you're switching the pins two and three on the XLR. That's important because if you're playing sometimes live and you go, man, I'm getting all this mid-range, my low end's all gone, my high end's all gone, it's usually because you're out of phase with the PA. Because a lot of mic cables can be wired backwards and you don't know what's going on with the patch play with the, with the guy out there. So having that, and that's why I love radial direct boxes, they all have a phase switch. So now there's, there's um, an out, a quarter inch out here. Yeah, this would go to an amp. Okay, Today yeah. we're going straight into a board, so yeah. we're going XLR. So you have an XLR out. Yeah, um, so you're getting a direct box also. It's like a little bass command system here. Because and then what do we have here? For this the is the effects loop, send okay. and receive. This is tuner out. Okay. All and the tuner, tuner out also? is buffered as well. So what that means is it's, it's not going to affect what's going on. It's, it's sending a, a buffered signal to the tuner. Okay. So you're not losing any signal coming off your base. Gotcha.